Hi everyone. I was hoping for better lighting today, but that's not going to happen. It's cloudy and I have no idea when it's going to decide to straighten up. I wanted to show an unboxing video of the surprise box from a little craft place. They're located in the North Houston area, close to my heart because this is where I grew up and that is where her little shop is. I wanted to make sure to support her shop during this time, so please check her store out. She still has more of these surprise boxes available on her website right now. She's one of the few privately owned craft stores that exist that do um, crop parties and things. She specializes even all the way down to little bitty kids. She does um, kids craft projects in groups as well as adults. It's not just um, I don't know how to put it. It's not just like the old ladies hangout. It's a very cute, very modern, um, very trendy. Um, so check her out. I got to meet her at the Arlington scrapbook Co convention. She was one of my favorite vendors. I spent, oh my, I can't even count how much at her particular booth, uh, those couple of days. So anyway, let me show you what's in this $50 uh, priority box that she sent me. It is stuffed full. Now everybody's is going to be slightly different. She's um, stuffing it the best she can with her amazing Tetris skills, but her taste is so much like my style of journaling. So if you like my traveler's journal notebooks, her style of what she's sending me is very similar to that. So this is a little washi kit. I love the gridded washi. Grid washi, these dotted lines, those are my favorite right now. So I'm really happy great colors. Then there's this vintage labels. There's a lot of this brand in here called Mocard. Oh my goodness, I have been wanting these labels so badly. There's a variety of different types of labels. These are so on trend right now for traveler's notebooks. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I got these. I was actually looking for some of these the other day. I'm so glad she sent these to me. These are perfect. Look at the variety. Looks like there's about three of each style. So cute, love the shapes. These are amazing. I have been looking for these. Oh, thank you so much, Eunice. This is perfect. This is exactly what I've been looking for. All right, so that is the vintage labels. So cute. So for those little girls in your life, oh, this is adorable. Little pen with a big squishy watermelon on top. This is a slice of watermelon, and that's a pen as well. Super cute. Purple and white. And all of these have that nice protective covering on them, so they should be working well. Here's a flamingo, a carrot, and a jewel pen. Love this one. So pretty. So these are really great little gifts to give away. Here's another little washi. Now this one is Japanese. Super cute. This washi is a fall style washi with leaves and pumpkins. Very cute fall colors on this one. That's one of my favorite seasons to scrapbook. So. I know I'll definitely use up that washi. Here's another one. This one is from Japan as well. I like to save these little pieces and just put them in my junk journal. It's really fun to just keep these the circles. And then the, of course this one has that little flower as well. But look at this washi. How cute is that? Love it. All right, here's another one called Vintage Labels. Let's see what type is in this one. Oh, cute. Different types of airmail vintage labels. Adorable. Same thing, there's about three of each design in here as well. So 
so cute. These remind me of the old packages when my grandparents would send us stuff from Japan to the US. They always had like these special colors on them when I was a kid. Very cute. She also sent me this ombre ink from Hero Arts. This is beautiful. I love that color fade. I'm trying to see if there's a name for this one is gray to black. Really beautiful color fade with this. Love that. All right, let's see what these are. Oh, very cute. So these are like landmarks. Statue of Liberty. I don't know, this almost looks like the square in China, but I'm not sure. Leaning Tao of Pizza. Pisa. This looks like something in Thailand or Myanmar. The Egyptian pyramids. Taj Mahal. The Arc de Triomphe in France. Greece. Forgot what area of Greece that's called. Great Wall of China. Very cute. Oh, here's San Francisco Bay Bridge. Super cute. Roman Colosseum. Maybe this is what I was thinking of in China. At the square. Mount Fuji. But this could also pass for uh, Cotopaxi in Ecuador. But I'm sure this one is Mount Fuji. Since there's so much Asian based theme in here. Oh, here you go. London Bridge. Very cute. Love it. So I like a lot of the botanicals and I had let her know that. Um, there's a notes section you can put in there. You can kind of give her an idea of things you like. I wouldn't name specific products. Just give her general ideas like, um, are you a planner girl? Do you like planner items? Do you like florals and botanicals? Vintage or kawaii style? She has different styles. This is just my particular style. So I asked for florals, and so she gave me a lot of things with greenery, very cute, that I can use in my traveler's notebook as well. Super cute, this one is, it looks like vintage maps. Let's see, I think these are circles. I think I've seen these before on her website. Yes, they are. I love these. These are one of my favorites that I saw on her website. So they're just different topographies of different maps, different parts of the world. Love it. There's South America and North America. Really cute. Oh, there's another good one of North America and South America. If you're new to my channel, we used to live in Ecuador, so I love it when maps also show South America because I can use them for some of our travel things that we have done. Beautiful. She sent tons of these little boxes. So these are a little bit more on the retro side. So if this is more your style, these are super cute as well. Travel theme. Oh, Leaning Tower of Pisa, Metro Signs, Eiffel Tower, Ice Cream, so cute. Glasses, Big Ben, a Sailboat, Little Camper with Surfboard, Volkswagen, Compass, Balloons. <laughs> the telephones in London. 
more world maps. Oh, I love vintage cameras. Envelope, another vintage camera. Oh, I love these. Those are my favorite. Shop, little vintage bicycle. So cute. Really, really adorable. Another Japanese washi. This one is food and drink. Here's another washi. These are all botanicals. They're like with mountains. Really cute. Super cute. Like green mountains, trees, forests, cacti, and almost like green clovers. Really cute. This one, foxes and rabbits. Ooh, I think I'm gonna love this one. Oh, it looks like the background is clear. This one looks really cool. Let's see if I can get this up without destroying my circle here. I love that look. I'm gonna save this little sticker. Super cute. So this one is really cool. It feels like transparency film. So it's a clear sticker, but it is a sticker. So, but it's completely transparent. So it feels like acetate. It's a really neat feel. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Probably one of the most unique items I've had in a while. So I look forward to trying that one out. Again, I love the sticker and the sticker is different than the motif here. So let's see what this one's about. Super cute. So here's a panda with cacti. Then there's a panda with a lollipop. There's a panda <laughs> with a violin. Super cute. Panda on a water slide. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Panda with a snowman and then panda with the ice cream truck. So those are the designs on this roll. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different scenes on this washi roll. So adorable. Every season is covered. Ooh, I look forward to seeing this one. This looks super cute. I'm gonna try to save that part too. Is adorable. I've been looking for something like this as well. Super cute. Oh wow, these are like real tickets. They have the, the little hole so that you get the notch at the top of it and everything. And then they go in like a sequential order. They all have like a different number. So it's like a real ticket roll. Really, really cute. These are awesome in traveler's notebooks as well. Man, you guys, this thing is just packed full. It's so amazing. Okay, so here's this cute little Webster's Pages charm for a planner. It's just a little pig. You can stick this through the side of the planner. Really cute. Hangs on the side like that. This one is from Carpe Diem, and it's the little emoji uh, page flags. Another one of my favorite companies is Prima. So let's see what this little mini stack looks like. These are three and a half by four journal cards. So Prima makes all of their designs come in um, like A4 size and six by six. And then they also have these three and a half by four and they fit in some of their ring bound journals as well. Really beautiful. So this has gold foiling and then I can watercolor this. Definitely going to be using these. Wow, these are so perfect for journaling. 
I don't know if you can really see, but they're like a regular script and then they have these accents of gold foil. This is very fitting for right now, isn't it? Oh, I love these. And the weight of this particular cardstock is almost watercolor. So you can definitely watercolor on this, on this particular set. Oh, they're beautiful. Every day is a fresh start. Another phrase we're all gonna have to be remembering very soon. Very cute. Oh, wow. That's so amazing. I had not seen the stack by Prima. I've been so out of it this year. I've been so busy. I haven't really had a chance to keep up with my favorite patterns and designs this year. So this has been a nice break to get a chance to catch up. Very, very cute. Okay, so again, this one is watercolor journaling cards with foil details. So these are meant to be watercolored on. So I'll be throwing a few of those in my journal for sure. All right, then there's this one. These are like those vellum stickers. So this is what's included in this stack. So vellum stickers are not completely solid. They are translucent. So that means you can kind of see through them. So from this design, you can see through to the next design. Or like you can really tell on this one, good vibes, you can see the other sticker that said, says good vibes through it. So it's semi-translucent. These are great to overlay in a journal. So again, these are the patterns. Another vintage camera in this one. The happy little daisies. A vintage bike. Really cute. Another pencil case. Now, this one isn't really my personal style, but what I love about her giving these types of things in this package is it gives me gift packaging. So I can use this for a little girl in my life and um, pack away some washi and some of those fun pens and give this away as a gift. I can also save this box. This is great packaging here. Save this box, convert it, and make it a great giveaway box as well. So that's probably how I will use these particular items. Super cute. And when I do that, I still leave the tag on it just so they know it was brand new and was never used. Oh, she gave me a ton of these vellum ones. Okay, so let's just go to the back instead of unpackaging all of this. And let's see what, so this one is like a love theme. Very cute. My absolute favorite. I've actually been wanting to order some of these. So thank you so much, Eunice, for sending these. These are the vintage florals. Absolutely beautiful. Ready to go. This is, I don't know, looks mainly, has some girls and vintage, vintage women and French motifs, I guess. Another favorite one has more plants. Let me show you what plants these are. Oh, I'm gonna be using these up. Very cute. Here's another one. I can't quite, these look more like um, sidewalk scenes. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, these are more um, like Eiffel Tower, but these are again on like that see-through washi. This is really cute. It's like a 
Vintage walk down an old street in London. Really cute. Oh, I love it. It's like watercolor scenes and sketched scenes. So very different. <laughs> Mount Rushmore. Some aqueducts. Very cool scenes. Look at this one. Love the watercolor effect. Paris. Windmills of Holland. Canals of Venice. Roman Colosseum. Pretty watercolor sketch of London Bridge. Really cool. Another beautiful set of florals. Let's see what these are. Really pretty. I look forward to using these. Okay, so we're reaching the bottom here. Super cute book clip with a little cute little cat on it. Very cute, but that's the page bookmark. And so with something like this, this is bulky. So this clips onto your planner or onto your book. And then this chain hangs on the outside. Really cute. Here's Traveler's Notebook Pocket Folder by Echo Park. I love Echo Park and I actually do not have this pocket folder. So I have plenty of Traveler's Notebooks that I can definitely use this in. I've seen this, I just never had an opportunity to pick it up yet. So I'm so glad she sent this. It will definitely get used. If I can ever open it, there we go. Oh, so pretty. I love it. Traveler's Notebook. This is the regular size uh, Traveler's Notebook. So that will fit in there. Then it has the watercolor paper notebook. I do not have this one either. She sent me all the stuff that I actually don't have yet. Oh, this is beautiful. So that's the center. It's a stapled insert full of watercolor paper. Beautiful. I love the thickness of this. So, for example, you can see with a folder like this, you can stick the insert in like this and they can overlap just like so. And so these can go in together into one band in the traveler's notebook. This is actually going to look really pretty in my uh, traveler's notebook. Um, oh, what edition is that? It has the train, train station edition. Here's something else that goes into a traveler's journal. These are all by Prima, this Prima brand. I've never had one of these that are pre-made with the sequence in them. So you can shake it. Really cute, it says hello beautiful. It has pink and gold in it. And so again, here you go. Here's your insert, you can put it on top of something. Usually with these colorful ones, I just put it on top of a solid insert like this one. Just like so. Oh, so pretty. And so you have this shaker pocket on top. Sorry for all the glare. And then on the back, have this zipper pouch where you can put stuff. Really cute. So you can put your stickers or your vellum plants and things like that in the back of it and it seals shut really cute 
And then at the bottom of my box, I was not expecting this at all. A full brand new, it says gold.tn. So I think this is a traveler's notebook that I don't even have yet. Brand new in the box. This alone would be about $35. Oh my goodness. No, I do not have this traveler's notebook. This is amazing. Look at this. So cute. So in the Webster's Pages traveler's notebook, it comes with the side pockets and the pouch, the extra strings, it comes with an insert and a place where you can slide in a notepad in the back, as well as a pocket right here and a pen loop. This is adorable. I do not have this traveler's notebook. What a great addition. And it says, choose happy. Oh, wow, Eunice. So the stuff she sent me actually match this. Let's go get those. So for example, I could do this gold dot with my watercolor insert together. And I can put those on this one strand right here. And then I still have another band available right here for another set. And then on this one, you actually have two bands, so you can have another set here. But with this one, I am going to partner the Hello Beautiful. Just put that on top of the regular plain insert. Open it up, just take one of the bands. I like to stuff my traveler's notebooks full, so that's why I separated out this band so I can put another insert there, and I have room for another insert here. But I'm able to put everything she gave me into this one traveler's notebook right away. How cute is that? So guys, this is everything I received from a little craft place. This whole box, including shipping, I believe, was $50 for everything. And this one notebook all by itself would have been $35 plus tax. Um, I wanna say that these are like five or $6 a piece. And I got one, two, three, four, I got about five sets of these. So that's amazing. All the washies, those are anywhere from $2.50 to $5 a piece. Got tons of those. Um, these little guys, I forgot how much these normally are. Um, but I mean, it is just packed full of goodness and everything that you could possibly want to use with planners or traveler's notebooks. Again, you can put what you prefer um, on your description and uh, what kind of things that you like or you enjoy looking at. It's not a guarantee that that's exactly what you're going to get of everything, but at least she gets an idea of your style. So please help out a little craft place. Again, they're shut down due to this coronavirus. Um, help them out by helping them liquidate some stuff out of their store while they have this time, um, but also supporting a local private business small bit of small business owners. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.